be self-aware, how is the caffeine affecting me? Is there other options? Is there other things I can do to still feel like I have energy and I feel clear, but I can still listen, right? And I can still connect, and I can be there with the person rather than in my own little story narrative of what I want to tell that person, right? So, um, so some of the things that, that come up, a big one, and for those of you who've been here uh, on other nights, you've probably heard me talk about food and digestion taking up energy. And during the day, we spend an average of 30% of our energy on food, right? And throughout the day, that doesn't mean consistent throughout the day, it's going to fluctuate. So what happens, you get home, you have dinner, you get a bunch of food in your stomach, and then you could have up to like 60% of your energy going towards that digestion. So then you go out to network, and you're like, oh, I feel like a slug tonight. I, don't know. I know i got to talk to people, but I'm not interested. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to sit in my seat for a bit. Or maybe I'll have a little conversation and not be too interesting. But what if we could, what if we could have something that, instead of taking that energy for digestion, it's going into our system so easily, giving us such a potent pack of, of, of nutrients that we're getting a buzz off of it. Like, and our digestive tract feels nice and relaxed and like it's starting to, it, it just, it's like a big sigh of relief in the digestive tract. And you feel, feel nice and calm here. You go and talk to people, you're, you're feeling like you have the energy to speak. You're also feeling calm, like you can listen too, right? Because all this is feeling good. Anyone have a stomach ache and they're just like, I don't want to, Go do anything. Like I just want to stay at home. Never mind. Get to the network networking event, right? So I'm gonna actually send this. Uh, this is gonna be up on Cohesion, so you can you can go to the Cohesion site and get the information for what I'm speaking about now, because uh, what I'm explaining to you is a recipe for something that's extremely easy to make, uh, really quick, really simple, and makes you feel amazing. And it's the perfect thing to have before an event or before a, a networking event. Um, so when you have, if you have a smoothie, which is basically just blended up um, above ground vegetables with uh, like a handful of berries and some lemon in it. And uh, I'll, I'll go through the, the specifics, I'll send you the, the recipe. But the thing is that in those, in those foods, the nutrients are extremely dense. So we're talking like uh, for a but in, in the recipe I'm going to send is actually a, a choice of either um, your baby kale, which is easy. You get a box of that at the at the grocery store, and then you just grab a handful, put it in the blender, right? A big fat handful, put it in the blender, or else uh, uh, one of those bunches of um, Italian parsley, because parsley is incredibly good for you. But the regular parsley is a little bit fibrous, and you don't want to really choke that down, right? So you get the, the softer stuff. So some Italian parsley or some cilantro, which is excellent for cleansing, heavy metals, and all kinds. There's so many nutrients in these above ground, like kind of leafy green vegetables, right? Yeah. Why above ground? Uh, because it's lower carbohydrate, lower starch. The thing is, as I, I don't want like a whole lot of carbs and starch. That's gonna make you. That's gonna make you tired. So having a whole bunch of carbohydrates and stuff before you go to an event, you're gonna. You're going to crash. You're going to get a carbohydrate comatose, right? And you're going to feel tired. So with these, these, uh, so these above ground vegetables, then add in just a, like a handful of like, frozen blueberries or whatever for some flavor. And the antioxidant level in those is through the roof, right? You're getting incredibly dense nutrients. Then the, the lemon, you're going to put the lemon in, take the, take the pits out of the lemon. You can use a half a lemon or a whole lemon. Uh, whatever you like to taste. Um, for me, it's about the effect. It's not about the taste. I'm not going in there to um, enjoy sipping my little, you know, drink and have a pleasant moment. I just they get that down, and I swear, what you feel afterwards is what you're going for. That's what you're really getting. Like those few moments of flavor don't compare to that after effect, that uplifting after effect that you're going to get. But with that lemon, you leave the peel on as well. Because the, the peel, that rind, is where all the most dense nutrients, the most powerful nutrients are. And that's what's going to make your stomach feel really good. Uh, and then like a big chunk of cucumber, you can even put some pomegranate in there if you want. But um, I personally think it tastes amazing. 
and the after effects, you just get a, a clear, you just feel mentally super clear. And just, um, like things are easy, right? So that over top, like switching that out for dinner is going to be a game changer when you're going to talk to people. Um, the other thing is, is exercise. So our regular routine exercise of going in and getting a good solid workout in and putting everything we can into it, that's really powerful for increasing um, the compounds that actually lead to brain growth. So that increases our, our mental emotional state, of course. So as our brain grows, it actually affects our mood. But then also, um, you know, we have more brain to work with, right? Um, so um, if anyone's interested in the details as for the compounds, you can ask me in the, in the, in the break. But um, for now, we'll just simply, it's been clearly um, studied and clearly shown, it's factual that our brain grows from exercise, hands down. So that's great, but then if, we, if we're like, okay, well, I've got an event tonight, and I got home from work, and I only have a few minutes, I'm like kind of tired. But the thing is, is that you're actually going to get more from a short exercise period that's not as intense. So you do a moderate short, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 if you can. And to be honest, there's really no, no excuses, because today, in between everything I was doing, I was like, I was like printer, printing some stuff, and do some push-ups, you know, some thing <laughs> downloading, and do some squats and that, like get myself moving, get the blood going and that. And that stimulates all the things that run our brain, that make us feel good, that make us connected, that make us feel like our memory is better, our mood is better. You know, when someone comes up and talks to us and they're in a good mood, Wow, this person was really pleasant to talk to, and, that, and it was it was nice, right? So do you know just buzz that stuff up in the blender real quick. Do a little exercise, and 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 get your blood flowing, get your brain invigorated. Um, also, um, I'm gonna go over some some nutrients as well that we can take that if we want something to kind of give us a boost without having caffeine. Um, and I just, Nope, we're all good. Um, so nutrients that are really great to be taking before you uh, come out to an event that work quite quick, quickly is uh, one is 5-HTP, which a lot of people don't even need to be taking mood enhancing pharmaceuticals or, or things for anxiety and um, depression and such like that, like your SSRIs. Um, they don't need to be taking this stuff because there's actually just a nutrient deficiency. When you take this, this, this um, supplement called 5-HTP, it's actually the building block for the neurotransmitter that makes it feel calm, confident, and um, just present during our day, right? It actually increases our confidence levels, makes us feel calm. You notice whenever you go out and you get some sunlight, you just feel, you're like, oh, I feel calmer, I feel more confident, I feel like everything's okay, right? That's the same thing that's being produced. The 5-HTP is the building block, you take some of that, and then you go out and get some sunlight, and it triggers the production of it because it, when it's hitting the, the, the uh, retina of the eye. So you got the building block, and you got the trigger to produce it, to go, hey, let's start making it. Do those together, and you're going to feel good. And you're going to come in, and you're going to feel calm and confident and relaxed, and you're going to have a much better experience, right? Your mood is in a better place. The other one is tyrosine. It does enhance, it, it enhances mood, and it also helps to enhance energy. But it doesn't give you that energy like a coffee. It doesn't give you that buzzy, like kind of jittery, maybe nervous energy. It's just clear energy. See, so you, you come in, and a lot of people, the thing is, it's actually, it's, it's actually used a lot. Um, there's, there's a ton of benefits for it. It's really helpful for adrenal fatigue. It's also helpful for, for thyroid function. And um, yeah, just energy levels for, for fitness as well. Um, but when you take it coming to an event, you're just going to feel that little lift, right? Your metabolism's kicked up a little bit, your adrenals are supported, and you just that nice clear lift. So, just a few things to think about, uh, and I'll, I'll be sending this through, you can go back and look at it. But we have options available. They're all very simple. When you think about them, they're all really simple. Go home. Throw, throw those few things in the blender, buzz them down real quick, drink that back, that's your dinner, you're feeling good there. You don't even, like, it, it has, usually when you eat something, you can feel that 
hits your stomach and you kind of like your energy levels go down. This is the opposite. It's like you, you, you feel better here, like it's all expanding and you feel your energy level come up. And then get some, get some blood circulation going on. If you can really get some 20 minute, 30 minute, um, you know, if you go for a run or if you can, whatever is available, just get your body moving and push yourself for 20, 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, last, uh, take a look at the supplements and see how your mood is, especially in Vancouver. Especially during the middle of winter when we have this long darkness, our serotonin levels are tanking and hitting. That's why everyone walks around and nobody wants to make eye contact and everyone's <laughs> kind of in, in their little space because everyone's really low on their serotonin levels. So get some of that in you get, and exercise increases that as well. So if there's no sunshine, you get some of the building blocks in there, either tryptophan from Turkey or, or uh, the 5-HTP, which is like right next level step. Um, and uh, yeah, boost your mood, make you feel good, enjoy your time with people.